Hello and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be bringing to you guys my London 2018 haul. I was super blessed to go back to London, England and explore all of the wonderful Harry Potter magic that there is there. And of course, a couple of purchases were made. So I thought I would bring you guys this London haul, which is all Harry Potter related, basically from three different locations. So I have the platform nine and three quarter shop at King's Cross Station. I have the Harry Potter Primark at Oxford Street. And from the Harry Potter Studios at Leavesden, I also have some amazing items as well. So if you're interested in Harry Potter and you want to see the incredible Harry Potter related merchandise that I picked up when I was in London, then stay tuned because this is the video for you. <laughs> So I'm gonna start off with platform nine and three quarters at King's Cross. This was the first place that we checked out in terms of Harry Potter related amazingness while we were in London. So I picked up just a couple of items, not a lot. I've honestly gone ham at that store before, but this time I restrained myself a little bit. <laughs> I wanted to also point out before I get started in the video that I have a vlog of my experiences um, of platform nine and three quarters. There's obviously gonna be a vlog coming up as well for the day that we went to the studio tour. So check out all of that amazing Harry Potter content that's coming up as well as what I've posted in the past as well. Um, there's other videos on my channel, a lot of Harry Potter content. So if you're into Harry Potter, then yeah, check out my channel basically. <laughs> well, let's get into what's inside of this bag. So when you go to platform nine and three quarters, just outside of like the main entrance to the shop is obviously the threshold going in to the platform nine and three quarters where the Hogwarts Express goes off to Hogwarts every year. So if you're going for the first time to King's Cross, then you have to check this place out because obviously you want to take a picture, pushing your carriage through that threshold. And then once you've done that, check on the, the store because there's a lot of great merchandise in there and it's a really nicely themed store as well. It's just a really cute place if you love Harry Potter that you you definitely want to check out. It's a, it's a must bucket list item for any Harry Potter fan to go to platform nine and three quarters, right? So let's check out what I've purchased. So like I said, not a lot because I was trying to be a good girl, <laughs> but I just couldn't resist with these two items. So first off, I got another chocolate frog. Now it's not the traditional one that comes in the box. I've purchased this chocolate frog style before. It does still come with a card, but this one is like a Rice Krispie chocolate. So I actually like this one much more. The other chocolate frogs that typically people buy um, that I've purchased before as well come in this kind of a box. So the one that's very screen accurate as per the movies. This is like a, a, a solid chunk of chocolate that you're gonna get with this one. And you're also gonna get the um, wizard's card that looks like this. The wizard's card that comes in the other packaging, so in the one that I purchased this time, is more of like a regular rectangular kind of collectible card, but still really cool and honestly this for me at least, I prefer the chocolate in this one just better. It's a better, easier snack. This is like a big chunk of chocolate that you're gonna be eating for quite some time. <laughs> but uh, I do have some of these from before. Um, if you've never purchased a chocolate frog um, and you wanna get one for yourself or maybe for a loved one as um, a little gift that's Harry Potter related, then I do recommend the other ones though because those ones obviously, I. I personally keep the box as a keepsake. The chocolate comes packaged in like a plastic material, so you don't have to worry about the box itself getting chocolate all over it. You can still keep the box and you're not gonna have ants all over your house or anything. But this time I just really wanted to eat this. So basically as soon as I finish filming this video, I'm gonna be having this as a little snack and discovering what card I got on the inside. Let's see my little kitty cat right here. Hi, Lala. You wanna eat this with me? You're not allowed. <laughs> this is just for me. <laughs> The other item that I purchased at platform nine and three quarters was this. So I've been wanting a bow truckle for some time and they had two at the store. Um, they had kind of a larger one, which honestly one of the staff members was like, go for the large one. But I thought about it and I do have a lot of collectibles and figurines around my house. So I wasn't too sure where I would be able to place the big one. Now that I think about it, it's something that I probably will eventually buy, or I'm actually also interested in maybe doing a DIY. I've seen some things on Pinterest of how to make your own bow truckle, 
So let me know in the comment section if you're interested in me trying out a DIY of making my own bow truckle and if I should take you along on that uh, DIY journey. I don't know how well it'll come out, but it's something I'm interested in. But nonetheless, I picked up this one. So I'm sure you guys have seen these. A lot of like, especially bookstores tend to have these like mini uh, Harry Potter related items. So they tend to come with like a little book and then the figurine on the inside. So I picked up the small bendable bow truckle, which I'm really excited to display somewhere in my house especially like around where my plants are I feel like I want to just hide him in there I want to have him living in amongst the plants I was really happy to pick him up and for those of you that are interested in prices as well I know I get a lot of questions usually after the fact and then usually by then I don't remember how much I paid for things but I did want to just mention so the chocolate frog is about four pounds um so it's a pricier chocolate bar to be honest but again you're getting the collectible card inside and it's for the nostalgia of having a chocolate frog <laughs> um so it's about four pounds and then the bow truckle he was eight pounds so again a bit of a pricier item but if you're a collector like me it's kind of the sort of thing that you're gonna just love and cherish and want to display in your house and Primark on Oxford Street is an incredible location that you have to check out if you love Harry Potter and you want to pick up some really affordable merchandise. So I do have videos on my channel from previous trips that I've done to London um, where I went to Primark. So check that video out. I have um, one where it's like shopping at Primark or Harry Potter at Primark. And I'm going to have an updated version of that as well that uh, might already be on my channel or might be coming up. But check that out too because yeah, shopping at that particular Primark Primark location is an incredible experience as a Harry Potter fan because what they've essentially done is they've done a themed section of the store so it's a Harry Potter themed area where they have all of their collected uh, Harry Potter items in one place for you to shop you can usually find a lot of the Harry Potter merchandise at other Primark locations so do check out your local Primark if you're lucky enough to have one Unfortunately, here in Canada, we do not have Primark yet. I'm really hoping, Primark, if you somehow are watching this, please, please come to Canada. I need you here. I need you in my life. Your Harry Potter selection, oh my gosh. Every time I go, it's just, they win me over. I end up getting so many things and I basically, last time, I definitely, I needed another suitcase <laughs> just thanks to Primark. But this time I was a little bit more measured again. You know, second time you kind of go in and you're a little bit more calm with things. <laughs> but I did pick up quite a few items, so I will show you guys what those are. Starting off with the socks. So one thing that I do notice that they do very, very well are socks and then pajamas, which I'll show you just after the socks. Um, and I picked up two this year. I've picked up socks before, um, if you check out that previous haul that I was kind of mentioning before. So these ones are cozy Ravenclaw socks. So they have the Ravenclaw crest on the top and then on the bottom in kind of like a rubberized material so that you're not slipping and sliding everywhere, they say Ravenclaw as well. And they're just the comfiest material. They're like this woven, soft, like they're so cozy they are true to their name they're very very i think going to be very warm and very nice to wear on like a cold winter day um they kind of have like the way you wear them is like in the picture here like a ruching effect so that you kind of have the crest showing down and there's like a nice soft blue color with like the stronger um, navy blue accents as well. And these ones were just three pounds. So they're really affordable in terms of a lot of the items that they have at Primark. And I really, really love these socks. I'm excited to wear these. Um, another pair of cozy socks that I bought um, were these ones. So these ones are Hogwarts socks. They're very simple. So these ones literally just say Hogwarts on the bottom in kind of a metallic-y, grayish color so there's something much more delicate not as like not, not with like the crest uh, very visible or anything like that but just something much simpler to also wear something that you could probably just wear out as well if you're wearing boots or something because all you would see at the top is just like the white and the gray line but on the bottom you would know that you're repping you're repping hogwarts all the time <laughs> Um, and the other pair of socks that I picked up was from their Honey Dukes collection, which I feel like is being phased out um, because they didn't have as many things anymore. And some of the items that I saw, like they had these Honey Dukes like fairy lights were being put on discount. So I'm, I'm kind of guessing that 
the Honeydukes range is kind of being shifted out and exciting because who knows what will come next, right? But I picked up these uh, Honeyduke socks, which are just some of the most playful items I've ever seen them do. They're these kind of like balls, like little colorful balls all around and they say Honeydukes at the top as well and they come in this little box, which is inspired by the uh, Bernie Bot's Every Flavor Bean, which I have the box right here. Let me just get it to show you guys. So see, the box is sort of inspired by the Birdie Bot's Every Flavor Beans, and yeah, I think these are just such playful socks. Again, something comfy to wear at home when it's like a cold winter day and you're just drinking some hot chocolate, watching Harry Potter, and just, yeah, enjoying life, basically. And pajamas is another thing that Primark does very, very well. Harry Potter-themed pajamas are something that I've yeah, I've purchased in the past and this time was no different. So the ones I've purchased in the past tended to be like very, very warm and cozy, kind of like those socks, like very thick sort of pajamas. But this time I went more for their lighter pajamas just to kind of vary things up and have pajamas that I can wear year round so I can always have my Harry Potter PJs around, right? Um, one of the things that I got was these, these are pants, but they're very light material. Um, and you can see too the amount of detail that Primark puts into everything. So you have like this Harry Potter little um, paper that comes with it. And then this, like, it's honestly, it's the Harry Potter, it's the letter that he gets his acceptance letter to Hogwarts. Like how adorable is that? Like that is something that I will be keeping and I can use as a bookmark. Oh, I just love the number of like little details that they put on all of their items just like how the box was like Birdie Bot's every flavor beans like these could have just been regular socks but no they put them in this kind of packaging which I just think is so adorable so these are very nicely themed to Harry Potter they basically have just a lot of Harry Potter imagery on them. So you have the Deathly Hallows, you have where it says Harry Potter, you have little letters like the Hogwarts acceptance letter, different charms are on there. Just so many items. So these kinds of pants, like basically you can be staring at this and you can find all this sort of Harry Potter imagery the more and more you stare at the pants. And they're just so comfy. So it's like win-win situation right there, honestly. <laughs> Uh, the other uh, Harry Potter PJs that I picked up was a set, so it came as a set. I should also mention, so these pants, the ones that I, I just showed you guys, the pants were eight pounds. So these ones, the drawstring pants, eight pounds. And the set that I also picked up, which is like a shorts and cami set, is, um, it looks like this. So this is the shorts. So again, drawstring, so you can make it a little bit tighter if you need to. And this is Hedwig with um, basically the letter, the acceptance letter to Harry that's being flown to him. And it has a little cami tank top like that looks like this with really cute detail of like the straps. So nothing is too simple, like they, they really think of all of their designs, um, not just of the print, but then also all the little accessory details of like the straps and all of that. And this one also comes with the little acceptance letter and the little Harry Potter tag as well, so all the different tags. And this set, so the tank top with the shorts was six pounds. So again, you can see how Primark just cannot be beat for their prices, like very, very good prices for merchandise, because I'm sure if you know, Harry Potter merch can get <laughs> pricey out there, but Primark is always a great place to shop for Harry Potter stuff. Um, another item that I picked up from their collection was a pair of slippers. So I did on previous occasions also buy some of their other slippers. These ones though are like the hard bottom type. The ones I've purchased before are like the ones you put your foot in and it kind of is like a footsie I think is what it's called. It basically is like a, a sock, but not an actual sock if that makes sense. Check out my other haul videos, you'll see what I mean. <laughs> but these ones I've already been wearing since we got back because they're just so comfortable. They're lined on the inside with this like furry material, same as the trim that's up here all throughout. And they're just so warm and cozy. They say Hogwarts and have like the castle up on top. And as you can see here, these ones were five pounds. So again, very affordable when you come to think of what they are and the quality that it really is. Like they're just really nicely made uh, house slippers. I also was able to pick up this item. So they basically had these like, 
I want to say like Funko Pop stylized little figurines of the different characters. They did this on a lot of the t-shirts, so a lot of the merch that they had across um, the different items that they have in the store. Um, the pajamas had these figurines and then they had um, little baubles for like Christmas trees and things like that, but they also had these little picture holders um, and the one I picked personally was the Hogwarts Express but they did have like they did have Harry they had Hermione they had Hagrid so they had a lot of the different characters in this kind of stylized version but I, I personally liked the Hogwarts Express the most so I think this will be something cute to just have on display somewhere at home with a nice little picture uh, probably something from maybe the studio tour a picture of my hubby and I maybe staring off into the distance of Hogwarts Castle would be really nice and yeah I just I absolutely fell in love with this when I saw it and I had to add it to my ever-growing collection of Harry Potter items Alrighty, so I just take a momentary break to just change the battery and then we also picked up this one who is now sitting on my lap. I don't know for how long, but uh, nonetheless, let's continue the haul. Uh, the final item that I got at Primark was this bad boy. I was so excited. Like I mentioned, the Honey Dukes collection seems to be kind of being phased out slowly, but I was really happy that they still had this. So it is a pillow. Because again, another thing that I just love that they do so well at Primark Harry Potter collection is pillows. They have done the the ticket, the Hogwarts Express ticket, which oh, I really want to get that at some point. And then in the past, they didn't have it this time, but they have also done Harry's Hogwarts acceptance letter, which I also really want to pick up one day, but they did have this one in stock. So it is the Honey Dukes pillow and it's just, it's a huge pillow as you can see here, my head for comparison. And it's the kind of thing that um, on this side is just the simple Honey Dukes uh, emblem. And then on the back, it has a bunch of little figures. So it has like chocolate frogs, um, quills, so the Honey Duke symbol, lots of little candies and things. I'm going to put this on my couch so that as soon as people walk in, they just know this girl is crazy for Harry Potter. I mean, most people that come into my house already know that, <laughs> but this will just cement that absolute fact. And I love it. I love this pillow so much. It's so adorable. I hope you guys like it too. Let me know in the comment section. So far, what's your favorite thing? What do you think is like a great purchase? What would you have picked up when you go to Primark? Let me know in the comment section. But this one is, I think, one of my favorites. But uh, there's a couple items coming up now that uh, are quite special. So let's delve into what I picked up at the Leavesden. So this is the Harry Potter Studio Tour, the Warner Brothers Harry Potter Tour. It's got many names but essentially where they filmed the Harry Potter films so if you didn't know already um, again check out my other videos because I have like a full from beginning to end walkthrough vlog of the entire Harry Potter studio tour and I will have now an updated one because again we went uh, to the studio tour again um, but if you didn't know already <laughs> they the Leavesden Studios in London England where they filmed all of the Harry Potter movies has been it's still an operating and working studio so they are currently actually filming um, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them they filmed I think it was um, Captain not Captain America sorry um, the Warner Brothers produced like DC movies so Wonder Woman um, all of those movies as well there um, but part of that so some of the studio stages where they did Harry Potter have been converted to a tour so you can go in the public you can purchase tickets and you can walk in and see the actual original sets, the actual original wardrobe items, everything that they used on the Harry Potter movies is there for you to just be in awe of, including the Great Hall. So this time I had the immense an incredible blessing to open the doors to the Great Hall because it basically went for my birthday and they give you like a little badge like happy birthday and all the staff are just absolutely lovely when they find out it's your birthday so um, I will leave like the very very special item that I received because it was my birthday to the very very end but um, I did also pick up some items in the shop 
And I wanted to add, um, I've done a video in the past as well of like shopping at the Harry Potter studio tour and I'm going to be doing an updated version of that as well because in the previous video that I uploaded when I had gone before to the studio tour, it was their Hogwarts in the Snow, it was all Christmas related. So a lot of the shops had more like Christmas ornaments or more of a setup for Christmas things. But this time around, it was more general merchandise as well. So check that video out. I feel like I'm just pimping out all of my videos in this video, but let's get on into what I picked up at the studio tour this particular time. So I'll start off with food related item. So I, and on top of the chocolate frog, which I had already purchased, I also picked up these. Um, I have purchased these before when I went to the Universal Orlando's um, Harry Potter um, experience. And I loved them. So these are, and I'm surprised I did because I'm not a big dark chocolate person, but these ones are essentially peppermint toads and they're dark chocolate, but they have like a peppermint flavoring to them. And they're just so good. They're like a nice smaller size bit of chocolate. So if you want like a lighter kind of chocolate snack, you won't feel as guilty. And it's dark chocolate too, right? Isn't it supposed to be good for you? I'm thinking. <laughs> um, but these ones taste so good. So I had to pick up another box um, when I saw these. Um, they're not like the prettiest box. So this is not something that I personally like have on display after I finish the box compared to like the other items I showed you guys before. But the content that is that's where it's at these are a really good chocolate so i really enjoy these ones so i had to pick up another box um as well i picked up this scarf so i absolutely uh loved this when i saw it i don't know if any of you guys out there are big fashion fans but personally i absolutely love fashion when i was younger i used to like design and draw i kind of still do kind of on the sideline <laughs> but um i love alexander mcqueen and a lot of his designs and he does like these beautiful scarves that are have like all these skulls on them and everything and i just thought this was like a cool homage to that with um yeah the death eater symbol so cool cool with that skull and the serpent going through it and I just think this is like the coolest thing like I feel like you look so badass wearing this so I picked this up it's a very light scarf but it's the kind of scarf too that you can kind of like double up so that you can make it thicker or you can really wear it very light and loose but I will warn you if you're thinking of purchasing this item it is very delicate already I have had instances where I'm like oh my god did I get it caught in something and is it pulling the thread so it is a very delicate item um, so be careful if you purchase it I'm personally already in like fear of ruining it but it's it's incredible i love it this is also something that you can wear or you can like display maybe if you had it like thrown over a, a table or something or over a lamp would be kind of cool i just think it's super cool and multi-purpose and i'm really glad i picked this up another item that i picked up as well um was it's kind of random but I don't know. <laughs> it's a shopping bag essentially um, because essentially like I want to go out get my groceries and still wear my um, Harry Potter fandom with me <laughs> so I got this one it's the Marauders map uh, shopping bag and it's like a really good decently sized shopping bag it opens up and has the map all around and then one of my favorite features because i've never seen this in like a grocery shopping bag is that it has like a pocket on the inside so you could like essentially slip like your cards your money your cell phone or something in there so you kind of have everything on the go when you are going grocery shopping and i just thought that this was like a really cool and practical item um in general i will say that the studio tour items are on the pricier end um like i want to say that maybe the chocolate toads were like six seven pounds the scarf was i believe like around 13 pounds this was three pounds though so much better priced um similarly to the shopping bags that they have at primark because they also have uh, similar items to this and those ones were i think like two pounds maybe 250 um but this yeah i really really liked this one and i thought it was very practical especially with that pocket on the inside and now that I'm looking at the pocket on the inside, I can show you guys some other items that I got while I was there. Now, this is not something that I, I paid for necessarily. Um, sorry, I'm just checking <laughs> what's in there. Um, yeah, so I got the passport. So when you first walk into the studio tour, I recommend that you pick this up. 
I was a little bit hesitant to do so because it seemed like they were just giving these to like children. Um, but as a keepsake, especially if you're not planning on buying anything on the studio tour, um, this is something that can be a really great keepsake that you can take home with you. And as I was walking around on the tour, I saw a lot of people, not just children, with these passports. So I do recommend um, that you pick one up. Um, so essentially when you open it up, it just has like a little welcome and has like the different stamps that you can collect throughout the tour. And it's one of those kinds of things where um, you could use it as a coloring book if you wanted to. But essentially there's these areas where you can stamp um, the the different items that they have throughout the tour. So there's like a golden snitch, there's um, for, for um, Quidditch, there's the dark mark, there's the Hogwarts Express, Gringotts Bank. There's like lots of different marks that you can like stamp. And the locations of the stamps and where they're, they are are indicated by these golden snitches. So it's a really fun uh, thing too because you're almost on the scavenger hunt looking for all the golden snitches and therefore just below it where the stamp is located. Or you can just look for all the people that are kind of holding these and like madly lining up to stamp. Um, but I just thought it was a really fun item and I'm really glad that they include something like this as like a little keepsake that you can take with you um, away from the experience of the tour that you don't necessarily have to purchase. Um, it kind of just comes with the experience. This was something nice that I got. And then as well as my birthday badge. This is something that I will definitely cherish forever. So because like I mentioned, I went for my birthday. The, um, if you go to guest services and you mention to them that it is your birthday, you'll get a little birthday badge. And it just makes the experience all the more wonderful because you have all these people constantly saying happy birthday. <laughs> and it's just, it's nice. It was really fun. Another incredible item that I picked up, um, and I don't think I've seen before. I feel like maybe I have seen like inspired versions of this at like fan expo or other conventions where people do like their own versions of this, but I'd never seen like the official ones. Um, are these wand necklaces, and I loved it when I saw it. I was like need this item. It was like the first thing that I selected in the in the tour. Um, so it's it comes in this beautiful Ollivander's box, just like your wands would come from Ollivander. Um, and on the inside, you have a, a beautiful, the beautiful necklace. So I selected the Elder Wand. Um, and it's just, look at that. It's just such a beautiful silver wand necklace. It is a very long necklace, so you can see here. It's quite a long chain, so it does hang quite low um, on the chest, and it does not have a clasp, so that was something that I found interesting. Kind of just like goes over your neck because it's such a large necklace, as you can see there. But it's just beautiful quality, and I think that it's also a great item um, to wear where people might not necessarily know what you're wearing. They might not know that, oh, it's a wand. Uh, they might just think it's a really cool jewelry piece and then it becomes a talking point, right? Where you can tell them, hey, this is Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter. And you might just discover other fans that are out there hiding their geeky, nerdy love for Harry Potter. But why hide it? Just wear it, wear it all the time. <laughs> And then the last item I want to share with you guys is also something that I didn't purchase, but something that I was given or is part of the tour. So because we went this time um, for the Goblet of Fire exhibit, which essentially just means that throughout the tour, they are highlighting or bringing out items that are related to Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Um, they had an especially exhibit when you first walked in to the the great hall they essentially have the goblet of fire right there and they have the age circle drawn around it and they have the two weasley twins um in like figurines basically with their costumes their original costumes and like the white hair when they've dared to cross dumbledore's age line and obviously come out worse for wear um so they have that display there and essentially they have you have everybody line up around it it. and one of the the employees at the tour they essentially show you how it works so how it first turns a certain color and then it pops out the name of the champion that's going to represent one of the houses that's there 
Um, so one of the things that they do is they, they, they do this like live in front of you. They have a name shoot out and it shoots out into all of us, the audience that are there watching the Goblet of Fire. So this guy picked up the, the name and it said Harry Potter and he got to keep the one that came out of the Goblet of Fire. But they were so nice to say that, you know, as soon as you leave the Great Hall, we basically have like this huge basket section thing uh, where you can pick up your own name off of uh, the basket. Um, and what they had there was Harry's name. So we all got to have our own Harry Potter, uh, which already I was like, oh, over the moon like I'm definitely gonna display this like I absolutely love it so this is just like in the movie where you see Harry's name come out of the Goblet of Fire like it's a perfect replica of that um, and I had seen online ahead of going to the Goblet of Fire um, exhibit that essentially you could possibly get the other names for the other champions but I wasn't sure how that worked exactly once they had done this particular display at the beginning and that gentleman had gotten Harry Potter and then we all were gifted a Harry Potter name ticket um, as well. I was like, okay, well, maybe that's it. Maybe there's no way to get the other names. Like I just, I put it out of my mind. I honestly was just enjoying the experience so much that I, I didn't even think about it anymore at that point. And then at the very last section of the tour, there is this beautiful room where essentially it's like Ollivander's shop where you have all these wand boxes all around you. And if you look at the boxes, it's actually the names of everybody that was involved in creating Harry Potter. So you have people that were part of the production, so the producing team, part of the art department, costumes, all of the actors, all of the directors. Like it's, it's a really magical room because it shows you the amount of people that went into creating this magical world that we all hold so near and dear to our hearts. So we got to talking to one of the employees there and she was just like an absolute sweetheart. Grace was her name. So if you're out there, Grace, thank you so much. You really made the experience just go above and beyond what it already was. Like it already was an insane trip and everything I could have dreamed for, but then she just took it to that other next level that, yeah, that she, she was magical. So she was explaining to us like each of the boxes, like we would ask her for random characters and she would show us like where different people were. She showed us like the evil section where most of the bad guys are and she was just an absolute gem to talk to. And she gave us a lot of little tidbits, behind the scenes things some of which I was able to kind of uh, film and I'll include in my vlog of the studio tour experience that we had. But at the very, very end, you know, she just said like, oh my gosh, it's your birthday. Like, I think I have something for you. And sure enough, she comes back to us with the other champions names. I lost it at that point. Like I couldn't even believe it. So I now have Victor Crumb as well. As you can see here, this is beautiful. I have Cedric Diggory, and I also have Flores. And honestly, hers is the most beautiful. Like, I'm so glad that ultimately I did manage to get all of the names because my plan now is to display these. So I'm going to have to find some sort of picture frame that's not gonna squish these down because I want to really capture the essence of just how they come out of the Goblet of Fire all crumpled and slightly burnt and just beautiful. They're just so magical and honestly, having these getting to, <laughs> sorry, that was my cat's tail. <laughs> She's just like purring because she's just as excited as I am that we were able to capture these, um, to get these, like, oh, it has added so much to the experience. Like this is a keepsake that I will always be able to look at and remember Grace and remember being there for the Goblet of Fire exhibit. Remember that it was my birthday and that I got to open the doors to the Great Hall. Like the whole thing was just, I'm over the moon of how happy this experience was. If you're kind of thinking about it, not sure if it's worth it to go to the studio tour, I can only say that yes, it is definitely worth it. They have multiple different like exhibits throughout the year. Like I mentioned, we've gone to the Hogwarts in the snow, which is just incredible. Like it takes your breath away to walk into the room where Hogwarts is and see it in the snow. And then they obviously have like installations before you get to that point that have to do with more like the Christmassy or Hogwarts in the snow related things. 
this was amazing the goblet of fire i know that coming up for the fall they are going to also have i, I want to say it's the dark arts is what they're calling it but basically it's um grace was actually telling us they basically have death eaters walking around and they theme it more to like spookiness of harry potter they're just it's always magical and if you're a fan of harry potter this is another one like you need to go to platform nine and three quarters you need to go to leavesden to the studio tour and then honestly go to primark because you will pick up some amazing merch and that store alone the way they've designed it is an experience um i hope you guys have enjoyed my very ranty sort of haul that I did. Um, I know I kind of blabbered and blabbered, um, but I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know, like I said, in the comments down below, what was your favorite item? What do you guys think about all these three places that I got to go? Have you been before? Did you enjoy them? What have you picked up? <laughs> Just let's start a conversation down in the comment section. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give it a like if you did. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next one. Love and Lumos always. Bye guys.